Hello and welcome to the Indicator Warehouse. In today's DTS 101 video, what I'm going to be doing for you guys is I'm tie everything together in regards to the signal generators or the day trading signals for diversified trading systems or as DTS as we like to call it. Yesterday uh, I got a call and nice guy had been trading for a while but like many traders out there still kind of struggling with his trading and after about a 10-15 minute conversation with this gentleman he had pretty much settled in on that he was a scalper die hard through and through and the only bird that he was really interested in was the hawk micro scalper which we see right down here where my crosshair is now being a scalper is fine but just because we have a tool that's designed specifically for taking those short-term trades does it mean that we can't do the same type of exit strategy here where we're taking smaller profit targets now the question that i had for this gentleman was you know what what was he using and basically he, he's using what's called a one-size-fits-all system now the advantage to using diversified trading systems DTS is the fact that you actually have three separate trading tools in your arsenal well the big question you're probably asking is gee Ray why do I need three day trading tools and I, I'll tell you what uh, today uh, July 1st of 2014 we're looking at the NQ here I saw this chart happening this morning and I thought you know what what a great time to make a video and show you exactly why one size fits all does not work let's go ahead and let's start with the Eagle which is designed for more of a trending environment let's go ahead and let's take a look here look at this huge run up of bars that we have here on the NQ well, let's go ahead and focus on the day here and if we look there is absolutely no place to enter from the Globex open on I mean it just takes off right out of the gate now in order for me to have a signal on my Eagle I need to have my get ready get set and my go signals in place and I need to have a nice green filter in place like we see right here but looking at today there's absolutely no place to get in on this particular chart now granted we are having a very strong trending day but I don't have a signal I can either sit on my hands and not trade this chart at all or what I can do if this is the only chart that I'm working with I can start guessing and forcing trades well I don't know about you guys I don't see anything here to enter on I don't see anything there, there I don't even have a one bar pullback this is such a strong move to the upside right here so I mean what's a trader to do I mean we can force the trade on this we can guess maybe we should jump in right now but no no it goes against my rules goes against everything that I know so instead of having just one algorithm to work with what we've done is we've added the Falcon and then we've added the Hawk so where I don't have a signal here on my Eagle I should get some signals here on my Falcon and if I don't get any signals on my Falcon I might at least get some signals here on my Hawk here we are once again we're looking at the entire day on the Eagle no place to enter as of yet okay now the day is still early it's only 1049 Eastern Standard Time but we would have missed out on this big move that took place right here so what do we do here's a trade signal here on my Falcon this actually took place at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and then it gives me yet another opportunity at 1033 Eastern Standard Time to enter right here as well and I don't need to force my trades if we look here everything lines up I've got a nice green swing line I've got all my signals in place on both of these entries not to mention I've got a solid green filter now the other thing as far as tying it all together goes look over here at our Eagle it's very very obvious that we are in a strong uptrending environment and everything lines up nice green bars price is above the soft and the hard edge and I've got a nice green filter let's get back to business here and let's take a look at the entries that the Hawk would have offered for this particular day as well 
So once again, I'm going to keep pointing this out. There are no entries here as of yet on my eagle. However, does that mean that I can't take advantage of this big trending day? No, absolutely not. I get multiple signals here with my hawk starting here at about 940 Eastern Standard Time. I get one, two, three, four, five, six different entries the hawk offers up to me during this big move where I have no entry here. Or we could look at it this way. I only had two entries here and it looks like we're working on our third, but the hawk offers up even more signals. So we look here and we get our first signal that I pointed out a few minutes ago at 940 Eastern Standard Time. Everything lines up. There's no guessing. This is the this is the signal. This is the signal right here. We we don't need to make up a trade. We don't need to guess what our entry is. It's all right here for us with get ready, get set and go. We get the same thing up here. We get the same thing on this next entry right here. Again here and again here and then yet another signal takes place with our hawk right here. So my point is, and to answer the question, why three birds? Well, why force a trade? Why, why try to create something that's just not there? I mean, the algorithm just did, it did not, it threw the signal back here, which would have been fine to take the signal back here, but we would have been left in the dust this morning if it weren't for our other two charts, the falcon and the hawk. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it to be informative. If you have any questions regarding DTS, diversified trading systems, please feel free to email me at ray at indicatorwarehouse.com. Thanks and have a great day.